Question number two says, Vector A has a magnitude of 8 units and makes an angle of 45 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Vector B also has a magnitude of 8 units and is directed along the negative x-axis. A. Use the graphical methods. Find the vector sum A plus B. Do this on paper. Your instructor may ask you to turn in this work. And B says, using the graphical method, find the vector difference A minus B. Do this on, on paper. Your instructor may ask you to turn in this work. So what I did, um, I don't have a protractor. And I, uh, I know my wife has my kids. They have a ruler somewhere. I don't know where they where it is. So um, I I did the mathematical way, and um, I don't think there's going to be a way for him to tell a difference. So allow me to show you what I did. the The problem starts off by saying that there's um, that so we're starting on the on the x axis, and he says it's going there's going to be an angle up 45 degrees count, counterclockwise. So counterclockwise is in this direction. So 45 degrees, we know that this this angle and this angle are at 90 degrees. So right in the middle, that's 45. So that's 45 degree angle, just so you can imagine. And we're going to assume that this length is 8 units. So I could pull out a, a ruler and I could measure on a piece of paper eight units and that's what you could do in a 45 degree angle using a protractor you can do that but um, what I did instead was I, I did the mathematical method of this which um, sine equals um, opposite over hypotenuse or actually let, let's start out with um, cosine so uh, cosine is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is our adjacent. So I'll change the color. This is my adjacent. And my hypotenuse is 8. So this adjacent something over 8 is going to equal the cosine of 45 degrees. So if I plug in cosine 45 degrees, I get um, 0 0.7171. Um, that's not the exact number. I don't remember for sure what the exact number is. But I know that that equals x over 8. So I can multiply both sides by 8 and get and find out what, what my length of my x uh, axis is, which equals 5 point, uh, 5 point, I'm sorry, it's 5.656. And you can shorten that down to just 5.66 by rounding. So you go over 5.66 units, which I have graph paper, so I can just count over five, a little over five and a half squares, and I know that I'm I'm that far over. So five point, I know that this. Uh, so let me go ahead and, and redraw this. I know that this is eight units, and I know that this is 5.66 units to here, and I can use the tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so tangent of 45 degrees is going to equal um, something over 5.66. Now, it just so happens that the tangent of 45 degrees equals 1, so 1 equals something over 5.66. Well, I multiply both sides by 5.66 and I get x. It goes up the exact, and that makes sense, right? So if my if my angle here is 45 degrees, then I would expect that for every unit x that I go up, I also go up the unit of y. So I know that my height is 5.66, uh, and so on my graph paper I count up about five, a little over five and a half places, and I put a dot there. And I draw a line back with an arrow, and that's my and that's my vector A. Vector B, and so that's um, that's all of the hard heavy lifting. Vector B, it says, goes in the negative x. It says that vector B 
also has a magnitude of 8 and is directed along the negative x-axis. So count up back 8 units that way, put a dot there, that's vector b. So this is a plus b. That's how I labeled it on my graph of that point. On the other hand, if you go this way 8 units, which I can't because my screen's too small, this is a minus b, and that's how I labeled that. And so when I turn that in, um, I don't think you'll be able to tell uh, whether I used a protractor or not because I did it all on graph paper. So you can get some graph paper, or, or if you um, have some used up graph paper, you can at least put it under another piece of paper and trace on it. However, if you have a protractor and a ruler, um, just place that ruler along the protractor, count 8 centimeters or whatever it is, and there you go. And then you can place your ruler straight back this way, 8 more centimeters, and there you go, you're done.